Tour 2005. We've assembled a group of lessons to help you get the most out of your golf game. Let's get started because we have a lot to show you. Driving the ball straight is what we'll tackle here. Watch Tiger as he drives the center cut of the fairway. The transition of the backswing to the downswing is the key to maximizing the distance of the shot. Time for you to give it a try. Hit the ball at least 260 yards and keep it on the fairway to complete this lesson. Nice going. The pitch shot is a short, lofted shot that you can use to get close to the flagstick. In this example, Tiger's about 30 yards out with his sand wedge in hand. You can zoom to your target with the press of a button to check out your target before making your shot. Mastering the short game is a key to low scoring. Land a pitch shot onto the green to wrap up this challenge. Way to go! A useful shot in developing your short game is the flop shot. When you're faced with an obstacle between you and the flagstick, try using this high lofted shot to knock one close. Use your pitching wedge and flop a shot onto the green. Hey, nice flop shot. That wraps up this lesson. When you need to keep the ball low because of trees or high wind, try using the punch shot. Watch Tiger run this one up the front of the green. Now you try. Knock it onto the green with a punch shot to complete this lesson. Make sure you get the ball on the putting surface. Try it again. There you go. Sometimes you'll find yourself between club lengths and you need to hit a shot less than 100%. Watch Tiger as he shortens his backswing to achieve a shot that lands the ball on the green. The length of your backswing will determine how far the shot will go. Hit one on the green to complete this challenge. This shot can be tricky. A delicate touch usually works best. That's not on the green. This is a finesse shot. Try taking the club back slowly to better gauge your shot. Try it again. Great shot. When you're just off the green and putting is not an option, the next best thing to try may be a chip shot. The chip shot requires a delicate touch as your backswing is significantly shorter than that of a full swing. Okay, now it's your turn. Use your backswing to gauge the distance of the shot. Chip the ball onto the green to complete this lesson. Getting the ball on the green is only half the battle. Dropping it in the hole is another story. Watch Tiger as he drains this putt. Now you try. See that line on the green? It shows you where the putt would break if you were to aim directly at the hole. Adjust your aiming marker left, right, up or down and sink the putt. Getting the right aim and distance of a putt is crucial, so make sure you apply the suitable stroke. That one's in the hole, just like Tiger. New this year is the ability to move the ball forward or back in your stance. In this example, Tiger moves the ball forward in his stance to achieve more loft. 
Move the ball forward in your stance to clear the obstacle and land the ball on the green. Make sure you move the ball forward in your stance and take a full swing. Not quite. Give it another go. Make sure you move the ball forward in your stance and take a full swing. Ball must clear the obstacle and land on a straight shot isn't quite appropriate is the draw shot. In this example, Tiger works the ball right to left to draw the shot. The action is a smooth pullback and to the left. Now you try it. Aim to the right and hit a nice draw shot back to the fairway. The optimum action is to push it at the exact opposite angle that you pulled it back, as if drawing a straight line with the controls. Refer to the graphic in the upper right hand corner for the ideal motion. Putting draw on the ball may be a bit tricky. Make sure to perform a smooth swing. That's not gonna count. Come on, you can land it on the fairway. Fantastic. The execution of the fade shot is just the opposite of the draw. Sometimes you will want the ball path to be from left to right. That's a fade. Give it a try. Aim to the left and bring it back to the fairway with a nice fade. Pull back and to the right and push forward in the exact opposite angle that you pulled back at. The graphic in the upper right hand corner shows the correct action. That's not going to count. Come on, you can land it on the fairway. You have to land a fade shot onto the fairway. You can do it. That's not going to count. Come on, you can land it on the fairway. That's what we're looking for. When you really want to put some distance on the ball, try using the power boost. By tapping the power button during the backswing, you'll be able to generate additional power for the shot. But don't forget, you still have to hit the ball straight. Tap on the power button and hit a drive over 275 yards down the fairway to join the Big Bombers Club. Not quite. Give it another spin on a shot to the green. Ever think you could do it? Well, now you can. While the ball is in the air, press the spin button and select a direction of spin and the ball will do your bidding. The more you tap the spin button, the more spin will be achieved. Spin a ball onto the putting surface to conclude this lesson. That's a wrap. Good job.
the all-new Tiger Vision is a putting aid to help you sink those difficult putts. Master Tiger Vision, and you'll be sinking one putts in no time. Showtime! Enter Tiger Vision and notice the focus zone. Line up your aiming marker with the ideal target mark. Exit Tiger Vision and swing straight through the ball with the necessary power. Be sure to move the aiming marker to the position indicated by Tiger Vision, and you'll sink that putt. Not quite. Give it another go. Don't forget to initiate Tiger Vision before making the putt. Be sure to move the aiming marker to the position indicated by Tiger Vision, and you'll sink that putt. Not quite. Give it another go. Don't forget to initiate Tiger Vision before making the putt. Be sure to move the aiming marker to the position indicated by Tiger Vision, and you'll sink that putt. Next level, be sure to play with Tour Difficulty on for an added challenge. Okay, now check out the current lie of the ball. In tour difficulty, you can't add spin when the ball is in the rough, so don't rely on rolling the ball up to the pin. See if you can stick it on the green. The ball must be on the putting surface. That's the one we're looking for. 